good morning my dear students i welcome all of you to my class hope you all are doing well so we have started chapter number 9 isn't it and uh, the name of the chapter is heat and this is a very important chapter all right now do you remember what we have studied in our previous class yes we have studied about you know modes of transfer of heat and what are the modes of transfer of heat it is conduction convection and radiation all right so i hope you all have understood all these things very nicely okay so now today also i'm going to continue the same chapter and i want everybody to pay attention now here uh, we are going to do an activity first all right it's a very interesting activity okay so you just have to think okay because the conclusion is not given over here so you have to think about the conclusion okay so apparatus so the apparatus which we are going to use is two aluminum tins of the same size two small glasses water thermometers black paint etc okay now the procedure is paint the outer surface of one tin with black paint and let it dry okay so only one tin you have to paint with black paint okay then in both tins place one glass each filled with water at the same temperature okay cover the tins with leads keep them in the sun for 2 hours okay now measure the temperature of the water in the glasses in the two tins what is the reason for the difference in the temperatures okay so now in this activity very simple you have to take two aluminum tins okay now one aluminum tin you have to paint with black paint okay let it dry completely then you have to take a glass of water keep a glass of water in each of the tins one which is painted with black paint and another which is not painted okay now cover the lid okay and keep it outside in the sun in hot sun okay uh, for at least 2 hours okay and after that you have to check the temperature of the water okay in the Uh, one which is kept in the black tin and in the uh, another tin all right and you have to see the temperature differences okay so this is what this activity is all about so in which tin do you think will be the temperature more in the black in the tin which is painted black or the tin which is not painted hmm? this you have to think i'm giving you some time you just have to think okay and you have to tell me the answer okay just think all right i hope you all have got the answers okay so let us see our answer now okay now since black objects absorb maximum heat the aluminum tin painted black from outside will absorb more heat from the sun and therefore water kept in the tin painted black from outside will have more temperature all right now you have to understand this okay the black object absorbs maximum heat okay so can i ask you a question okay the question is why do we wear white clothes in summer and you know dark colored clothes in winter okay the reason is quite simple okay why because white color it does not absorb okay that much heat but a black colored cloth uh, black colored clothes they absorb maximum heat and that is the reason why we use dark colored clothes okay in winter season and white colored clothes in summer season all right now there is one more uh, you can say important information which is given over here you know the solar cookers are painted black from outside now this is the reason why the solar cookers they are painted black from outside okay so i hope you all have got this answer okay so now let us see what we are going to study next now next we are going to study you know very simple thing which is good and bad conductors of heat okay so now 
uh, again there is one activity so i will read this activity okay and you have to understand then place a steel spoon a copper strip or rod a divider from your compass box a pencil and a plastic ruler in a glass beaker okay pour hot water heated up to 60 degree celsius to 70 degree celsius into the beaker wait for a while then touch the outer end of each of the objects record your observations in a table okay see this activity okay uh, you all can do this activity with the help of your parents okay you can ask your mother she will help you in doing this activity now what you have to do take a pot okay inside that pot you have to you know use a steel spoon okay then a uh, place a steel spoon then a copper rod a divider from your compass box a pencil a plastic ruler okay everything you have to just keep inside that vessel or a pot basically now oh, on top of this you have to pour hot water so this hot water should be heated up to 60 degree celsius or 70 degree celsius now at least you know for 15 minutes you have to just keep it like that okay now wait for a while then touch the outer end of the objects now you have to touch each and every object touch the steel spoon the copper rod the divider okay the pencil plastic ruler and glass beaker and then you have to record your observation okay so this activity again i'm telling you if you want to do it you can do it with your parents help okay they will help you in doing this activity it's a very simple activity okay so let me just tell you this uh, result that you will get okay so as metals are good conductors of heat as i've told you metals are very good conductors of heat okay and therefore steel spoon copper rod and divider because divider is also made up of steel only so therefore okay this will feel hot okay but the pencil okay then plastic ruler okay they will not feel hot why because they are bad conductors of heat all right so they don't absorb heat but steel spoon copper strip and the divider steel divider it will absorb heat and therefore it will become hot but pencil and plastic ruler will definitely not feel hot because they are bad conductors of heat okay so that was the uh, you can say that will be your result now what inference will you draw from this so some substances are good conductors of heat while some are bad conductors of heat heat is easily conducted through copper strip or pot but not through plastic or wood okay so any vessel that you use in the kitchen okay for boiling water or for making food that is made up of metal either it will be made up of like steel or aluminium or copper vessel okay so therefore they are metals and these metals are good conductors of heat and that is the reason why we use them in making food all right so uh, heat is easily conducted through copper strip or pot but not through plastic or wood so plastic and wood are bad conductors of heat we can hold a glass tumbler or china cup full of hot tea easily in our hand see when you drink tea at that time you use the cup which is made up of china clay but if somebody gives you tea in a, like steel cup okay then what will happen your hands will you know it will become hot okay so uh, why it will happen because steel is a good conductor of heat and therefore uh you know we drink tea in china clay cup okay not in steel cup usually okay so uh, this is the reason all right why because china clay or glass tumbler it is a bad conductor of heat okay so i hope you all have understood okay what is a good conductor of heat and what is a bad conductor of heat okay so let us see now what is next next we are going to study about you know expansion and contraction of a solid substance due to heat okay so uh, here we are going to see you know very important uh, property of uh, you can say uh, solid substances basically this is expansion and contraction of solid substances due to heat okay so apparatus which we are going to use is a metal ring a metal ball okay a burner etc 
okay so activity so in this activity you have to take a metal ring and a metal ball of such size that the ball just passes through the ring heat the ball and check whether it passes through the ring now let the ball cool down and check whether it passes through the ring or not so now what we have to do let me show you this experimental setup so here can all of you see here we have this metal ring and this is a metal ball okay so before heating what happens if you just try to pass this metal ball through this metal ring it will easily pass through okay before heating but after heating what happens this metal ball it gets stuck into the ring it will not easily pass through okay now why this happens so this is what we are going to learn in this experiment okay so i will just read okay this uh, activity one more time take a metal ring and metal ball of such size that the ball just passes through the ring okay so you have to use you know the ball and ring of the size which you know just it just passes through okay the ring okay so heat the ball and check whether it passes so after heating you just see whether it passes or not okay now let the ball cool down and check whether it passes through the ring or not again so once the ball cools down do this activity again and see whether it passes through the ring or not okay now let us see why it happens okay the above experiment tells us that metals expand on heating and contract on cooling okay so i hope you understand these terms expand and contract hmm? expand means their size increases contract means their size you know decreases sort of so this is expansion and contraction of metals so the above experiment tells us that metals expand on heating and contract on cooling so solids expand due to heat and come back to the original state if heat is removed okay so you have to remember this that solids they expand due to heat and come back to the original state if the heat is removed however the extent to which the solids expand is different okay so different you can say solids it depends on the solid substance okay so which metal it is so their expansion is different all right so in each you can say different uh, solid substance their expansion will be different so i hope you all have understood this activity very simple you know you have to take a metal ring and a metal ball okay before heating just try to pass through it it will easily pass through it and after heating the metal ball it increases in size and therefore it does not pass through that metal ring okay so this is a very simple uh, you can say experiment and we have done it you know many a times in the lab and if i get the opportunity to show you this experiment i will definitely show you okay so uh, this is a very simple experiment i hope you all have understood okay so now this is the time for homework now so your homework is very simple what are good conductors of heat give two examples and what are bad conductors of heat give two examples okay so you have to write these simple answers okay and i hope this chapter is clear to everyone so that's it in today's class my dear students we will meet in our next class you all have a nice day